Hi, my name is Desiree. I'm Kayla, and we're from the University Community Collaborative. And today we're going to be debunking four myths about graffiti. Myth number one, graffiti artists' intentions are to destroy or deface property. Let's explore some artwork from legendary Philadelphia graffiti artists, such as Daryl McRae, who was recognized as the first modern graffiti artist. He took the negative experiences in his environment around him and was able to turn it into a positive one throughout his graffiti. He was also known as Cornbread and his intentions were to avoid gangs and drugs. As time went on more and more, people became more interested in graffiti and graffiti became more prevalent. Although some graffiti artists do deface property, which is wrong and damaging to store owners and homeowners, most are trying to find a way to express themselves and they don't have a place to freely do so. In low-income neighborhoods, residents don't have the financial support or necessities they need, such as healthcare, education, and housing. Another reason why graffiti has risen to prominence is because of the massive underfunding and cutting of art and theater programs in cities throughout America, especially in Philadelphia. Myth number two, all graffiti artists are troublemakers. Not all graffiti artists are out to cause trouble, so you can get that out of your head. One artist called Lady Pink, who started her graffiti in 1979. Lady Pink studied at the High School of Art and Design. Another graffiti artist is Saber. Saber growing up was a good kid. When he was young, he wanted to get his name out there, but not by doing sports. He got bored with that idea, so he started doing gra graffiti. James Burns started off as a graffiti writer in the Northeast and is now responsible for creating and directing a number of Philadelphia's most prominent murals, which focus on the struggle of addiction and independence. Myth number three, graffiti is gang related. Although there are some crews that are associated with gangs and create reckless art, crews or cliques are much more common, which exists solely as a group of friends who go out together and create a sense of togetherness and family. There are also a number of different styles of graffiti. One type is tagging, which is the simplest and most common type of graffiti, where artists aim to simply put their name in as many places as possible in one hand style. Another type of graffiti is conventional graffiti, which are tags that consist of one continuous stroke. The last type of graffiti is known as ideological graffiti, which is, one, which is a political-based art with radical or religious me messages. Each different style of graffiti has its place in the art form. Myth number four, graffiti isn't real art. Are you kidding me? Graffiti is one out of a million art forms. Graffiti has a message and is planned like all great artwork. The definition of art is the expression or application of human creativity skill and imagination. If you think about it, many of the murals that we love and value in Philadelphia owe their origins to graffiti. In 1984, Philadelphia created the Anti-Graffiti Network, which six years later turned into, into the Philadelphia Murals Art Program, with graffiti writers collaboratively painting the murals. Once again, I'm Desiree. And I'm Kayla. And, and we, we just debunked four myths about graffiti. graffiti.